Everyone, it's Rabbi Shmuel Pollen. Welcome back. It's a little bit of a sad video. In this topsy-turvy, crazy world, we have some people right now supporting abortion. Not pro-choice, but pro-abortion. They actually are in favor of the killing of the baby. And the question is why? Well, one reason is they're ignorant. They're ignorant as to what an abortion actually is. They do not know what they are supporting. Because if you know what an abortion is, you would realize that what happens when the doctor uh, does an abortion to a baby, they have to actually rip off the arms so that the baby can come out. Ripping off both arms of the baby off its torso so that the baby can come out. And the skull is too big for the canal, so the skull has to be crushed. So you're ripping arms off a baby, you're crushing the skull of a baby, and this is what you support? There is no way you would support this if you knew that's what actually goes in to an abortion. So when does life actually begin? There's an interesting story with Miriam from the Bible. This is brought down in the Midrash and Rashi, and it explains that her father, Amram, separated from his wife because all the babe, Jewish babies were being thrown into the Nile. And Miriam protested and said, you cannot separate from your life because you're not only killing the baby boys from coming into this world, you're preventing the female girls from coming into this world as well. Because when you stop a life from coming into this world, that is a form of murder. Even, not just at conception, but even before conception, if you just separate from your wife and stop having kids, you are preventing kids from coming into this world. Because would you be together, and would you have a child, you would wind up with some 25-year-old woman or man. And that's a real existence of a whole person who would have their own family. So you're preventing the existence of of an entire family when you choose not to be with your wife. That's why it's the first commandment in the Bible is peru or vu, be fruitful and multiply, be with your wife, be with your husband, have children, keep the children. If you're not interested in the children, if you don't want to have the children, if you don't believe in having the children, let it be born, let it go to an adoption agency. Many mothers and fathers to be are looking for children to adopt. And it's a wonderful mitzvah, it's a wonderful deed to give birth to a child and to give it away to someone who really needs it and will really take care of it. That's a great mitzvah. And if you do mitzvahs, which are good deeds, which connect you to God, you will have a good life in this world and the next. Bye-bye.